guys, I'm Mark, this is Jill, this is our self-built camper van Moby, and we are Living Let Travel, welcome to our channel. We want to take you on some lovely travels, Moby started off as a minibus, then he was an ambulance, and now he's a camper van, and hopefully you'll come with us on the travels. arrived at Lincoln at the car park just parked up we're just back going down into the town now to see what's going on in town we've um, first time we've been away for a little while to be honest we've been doing some works on a van and now we're just going away to actually test it all out daytime it's free to walk through the castle grounds you can actually pay to go in to see some of the attractions you can go into the Magna Carta vault here you could see original copies of both the 1215 Magna Carta and the 1217 Charter of the Forest this is the only place in the world where these two documents can be seen together. And this is Lincoln Castle. Quite some sight. And looks at that, you can walk all the way around the top of the battlements. Up the top there, all the way around. There's the cathedral. What a beautiful place. This Grade 2 listed building is Lincoln Crown Court and it must look stunning when the foliage is on the climbing plants. This place looks absolutely lovely. We just walked through the castle grounds and we're coming down to the cathedral in front of us. Really impressive, that building. In front of us is the Magna Carta pub, which had a really friendly atmosphere inside. And it was a great place to see what's going on in Lincoln as everybody seemed to meet up here before going about what they were doing for the day. We're looking round to the left now, where we come to the Bailgate area. This is one of the most historic areas in the city and with various shops, pubs and eateries. Wonderful old windows here. And you can see these little little guys looking after it all. The ceiling. Wonderful yeah, brick ceiling. Look at that. Took some building. In the 13 to 1500s, Lincoln Cathedral was the tallest building in the world. After surviving both a fire and an earthquake, the cathedral was rebuilt and the towers were capped with wooden spires, taking it up to 525 feet. A storm caused the central spire to collapse and it was never replaced. Lincoln Cathedral formed the backdrop for the Da Vinci Code movie. Jill's lighting a little candle. There's holes to put them in. There he is. Mm -hmm. And what was that for? Wishes. I'm not allowed to give the wishes away. Oh, cool. But it didn't last really later, then. Yeah. We're just walking around the outside of the uh, cathedral now. What an amazing place. What do you think, Jill? You seem very impressive. One of the most impressive I've seen, without a doubt. We popped into the Magna Carta pub for a quick refreshment and are admiring the beautiful decor and a very unique light design. After this, we walked through Bailgate and found the Newport Arch, which dates back to the 3rd century. The Newport Arch was the north gate to the city. The road passing through this gateway was incredibly important as it linked London to York. We decided on fish and chips for this evening, and as you can see, it was an excellent choice. It's definitely the best bit of fish that we've had for a long time. We chose the cod and the sea bass. This picturesque cobbled street is the fourth steepest hill in England. Right, we're just starting off to walk down the steep hill and down to the riverfront. And it does look a very steep hill. If you are faint of heart or have any physical issues, you do not want to be coming back up here because it is really, really steep. The straight, I think we made it down the bottom. Yes. 
Ice Nobody's cream shop. Back up. Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. This over here. Look at those. Oh, oh sweet too. This guy's massive. I don't think even I could eat that. Oh, they're lovely. Snickers, Reese's salty pretzel cookie. And here we are, just about at the bottom of the steep hill. And the straight beckons. Got a few shops and things down here. Yeah. At least we can duck into this. It's a bit, a bit wet today, so we'll just duck inside when the shower comes. It's quite it's busy. It's funny seeing all this down the bottom yeah. of that hill, isn't it? Now we can see the bridge with Mark on top of it. That's the Stokes Cafe on top of there. Apparently there's very, very few buildings left that are built on top of bridges. Just down by the waterfront in Lincoln, it's lovely down here. I'm just looking across here, we see some swans on the island in the middle. You can go on boat trips. They've not started yet. I think the boat trips actually go from Easter. Just having a look around. We've just had a walk around the town. And then you can come back down the front here and you've got everything you want. Um, handmade burgers, Nando's, Prezzo's, Ask Italian, Wagamama, seems to be on a raft in the middle. And ZZ's down the end, lots of stuff to do. Evening guys, we are here in the Olay Olay Spanish restaurant in Lincoln. Cheers. Cheers. It was absolutely delicious. I don't know how we managed to eat it, to be honest. It didn't look much, it was quite bizarre actually. We only came in for a couple of small tapasses uh, and we ended up eating half the restaurant because the food is so good. Absolutely brilliant. So, if you're ever in Lincoln, part in the car park, which is called Lawn Car Park, the Lawn Car Park, which is nine pounds to stay for 24 hours. Camper vans are fine. I don't mind camper vans. There's a, there's a grass pitch you can overhang at the back if you've got an extra long one. The sort of atmosphere you got in here is brilliant. So yeah, come and check it out. It is absolutely fantastic. That's how you come up. There's a lift in there, or you can walk up the stairs. So we're going to take you around the walls of Lincoln Castle. God oh dear. It is freezing, isn't it? Yes, it is rather chilly. Lots of people, there's an adventure trail for the children to play um, down there. Show them that behind us. Down the bottom there, adventure trail. Let's see if you've got little ones, probably keep them amused for a couple of hours. It's an enchanted treasure yeah. hunt for children, probably up the Easter holidays. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Oh yeah, it'd be wonderful for Easter. There's a little market. We'll probably show you later. And there's Jill on the battlements. <laughs> Ready to fight off any hordes of invaders. Jill's now disappearing down a staircase into the unknown. You right down there, darling? Yes, yes. I'm not sure where I'm going. What's down there? A room? Yes going into this room. I'm not sure what this room is. I'll just show you around here. It's very dark down here. See what we can see out through here. Hey, looking out to the market. And here, I'm not going to go down here, but there is access to a lower floor down here. I don't think I'm going to trust that one. Just stay where we are. 
I'm making my way back up these stairs out of here. <laughs> back out to daylight. Lurking down there in the distance is Moby, surrounded by all his friends. Loads of people. Really, really nice. What a fantastic view. It's a windmill over there. Yeah, we passed that windmill on the way in. I don't know what the thing in the distance is, whether it's some sort of power station or... It's got chimneys, but it's, um, it's quite some distance away. This is really interesting. They've given us an audio guide as well to give us a few tips along the way. Dates back, a William Conqueror built this, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Ten... I'm not sure about... I'll, get, I'll find that date out. About half past ten. <laughs> Built it. But if you look down here, look at all these people's gardens. It's a wonderful pub we had a drink in the other day. There we are, still up on the, uh, the wall, just showing you behind the area. That's the main area in the middle there. It's really, really good. It's £11 an adult just to walk around the walls. Worth every penny. Look who's coming up the stairs. Oh, it's a little hole here. Ah. There's the back of the building. And I think we're going to go and try and climb up there. We are. Wish us luck. So we made it. Yeah, right at the top. It by is. the cathedral. I think the cathedral's just there. It's a fantastic view from up here, but one thing I will say is the staircase is very steep. So be aware. But it's well worth it. Do it take you around now. Ah, I'll run. There's <laughs> a little market down there. We're going to pop down there in a minute, get a coffee and have a look in the market. There's a lovely little market right down in front of the cathedral. This is the Crooked Cottage at Michaelgate Street, or St Michaelgate Street. It's amazing. This iconic location is one of Lincoln's most photographed spots, and it is where the famous climb occurs during the Lincoln Grand Prix cycle race. So, the last bit of steep hill. How yummy does that look? This is us beating the fudge or creaming the fudge. It makes it lovely, lovely creamy wow. fudge that Rollies is renowned for. And then there's two purposes to this. One is to make it nice and creamy and it's also to cool it down all at the same time. So the centre wow. here stays really, really, really hot. Whereas on the outer edges it starts to cool. And we wanted to try and do it all as evenly as possible really. So and what that's what flavour is that one? This one's sea salt, so it's our sea version salt. of salted caramel this is. Wow. So yeah, this will make four, uh, 10 kilos, give or take. 10 kilos? 10 kilos of fudge when it's actually finished and set. And we, what we do is we cube it. Eventually oh, so we try to, yeah. yeah, we fold this eventually when it starts to cool down. And we try and get it into a sort of like a baguette shape along the center of the table. And then we slice and cube it from there. Brilliant. So how many of these do you make a day? We do two comfortably and consistently. Consistently, we always do two. Yeah. We've done up to five. 
wow. um, where we just have the two pots sim simultaneously kind of cooking. So, this, so that's is what, where you... this is the sea salt that's just come out of. Bailey's is on that pot now, and then I'll be doing a salted maple and pecan in this one again. Oh, so wow. we're doing three bakes today. So what flavour are we getting? Should we get the Bailey's? <laughs> <laughs> you even need to you. film, not get whatever you want. Bailey's or honeycomb? It's actually a sweet little We had a lovely meal here with starters and some paella and pasta and then we decided to have a look at Lincoln by night. I think you'll agree with us that it looks stunning as well. And we took a nice walk around the outside of the castle back to our van for the last evening here. Loads of ponies over there and cattle. Yeah. So we're just on our way home now from Lincoln. We've had an absolutely lovely weekend here. It's a beautiful city, lots to see, and we've had loads of lovely things to eat and felt really safe and we just, you know, just really enjoyed ourselves up here. We've been pretty lucky with the weather. It wasn't forecast that great, but we managed to dodge the showers. So yeah, a really good time. And Yes, I can highly recommend Lincoln, guys. We had a fantastic time. Beautiful stopover. The city was fantastic. The food was amazing. Um, and the people were very friendly. I don't know why, but it's just a very friendly, relaxing place to be. So I highly recommend it. See you soon. If you've enjoyed the video, please do press the like button and subscribe to our channel to follow us on our channels. And we might be able to go somewhere else. Yay! Yes, follow us on our next adventures. Bye. Bye for now.